Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today on their site Tamashi posted a new article about the upcoming Figure Arts Ahsoka release showing more promo shots and giving us a first look at the packaging so I just wanted to share this with you guys because I know that there are a lot of you who are like me excited for this release. Before we look at the images from this article I have to give a shout out to my Instagram friend Sherwin James Allegria Tassen who told me about this article so thank you. Alright so first here here is a look at the packaging, front and back. It's a standard figure arts box with a window showing practically everything that comes in this set. And it is here that we see that the figure comes with three face plates with different expressions. That was to be expected. It's probably easier and cheaper for them to give us interchangeable face plates instead of three full heads. That makes sense. I have no problem with that. With the way that the head is designed, there shouldn't be any issues with visible seam lines in the sculpt. Here is a better look at all three faces and I hope that the finished product will look like this because this looks fantastic. And as I said, no seam lines are visible here. The article says, quote, the facial expression parts, Tamashi digital coloring technology, two types of interchangeable facial parts are included. A clinched jaw expression and an expression reminiscent of the dark side shown in the battle with Anakin Skywalker. End quote. It's interesting that they say that, because remember this shot that had us hyped up about possibly new figure arts Anakin? Well, in this article they released this image, so now they are actually showing us Anakin. It remains to be seen if this is their already released version or if they are making a new one, a 2.0 version from Ahsoka series. Going back to the packaging, here we also see alternate hands. I assume that there will be 4 pairs total, her lightsabers will have removed movable blades and there will be standard blades and alternate swinging effect blades. Now the article says that quote this product uses thin joints in order to reproduce the proportions. If you want to use the lightsaber effect please use the separately sold Tamashi stage end of quote. And that is why they are showing this photo here. Now based on my experience with figure arts figures I have to say that I never had any issues with uh, their figures holding lightsabers. This is not their first figure that is coming with these saber effects. They've done that before. You guys saw some of my SHF posing videos and you saw that these effects are no issue at all. So I'm hoping that this is them just being careful and also wanting to sell more of their stands. I actually never saw this type of stand so I don't know if this is something new or if they already had it with some other brands. And also here is one of the previously revealed promo shots with practically the same pose and there are no stands here, so there you go. I just wanted to highlight that. Next accessory included is the map showing the location of Grand Admiral Thrawn. Quote, the map is included in both a spherical and damaged state. It has been inked to faithfully reproduce its appearance. End quote. So we already knew that we will get the whole map and the split in half version. Previous promo image already revealed that, but now that accessory looks different. Two halves are connected to this strange thing that I don't know what it should be. The indentation in the middle looks like it is meant to be used for holding the map ball or is it maybe like a part of a sprue that model kit parts are connected to and you have to cut off the parts off of it? I just don't know. What am I missing here guys? Does any one of you know what this should be? Let me know down in the comments. And then the final accessory is Ahsoka's soft goods poncho. Quote, the cloth cloak has been carefully recreated down to the distinctive shape of the hem and a wire is used around the face of the hood, allowing you to recreate a natural appearance when wearing the robe. End quote. So the poncho is wired, which is something that I always appreciate because you can get a lot more dynamic poses out of it. It will be interesting to see if it's stitched in the middle or if it splits apart with uh, velcro like the Mafex one. Whatever the case may be, I'm glad that this is included in this set. The article also shows few more promo shots of the figure with and without the poncho. It also highlights knee articulation for some reason. Quote, the legs have pull out joints so the knees can be bent deeply. End quote. We'll know all about the articulation of this figure soon when it gets released. And according to this article, the release date is this upcoming Saturday 
July 27th. So if you have a SoCal pre-order from AmiAmi and other stores, be prepared to get a payment request email. And so that was my quick look at this new article on Tamashi's website about the upcoming release of Figure Arts Ahsoka. Now I would love to hear you guys. Do you have this figure on pre-order? Do you prefer this version, Mafex or the Black Series? Let me know down in the comments. Of course, when I get this figure I will be able to make a full comparison video between all three versions, so stay tuned for that. As always, a special thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep this channel alive and to all the rest of you guys, thank you for being here, thank you for watching my videos and I'll see ya in the next one.